An update on the redevelopment proposal for the old shipyards downtown. The plan for a sprawling $400 million project with Jaguars owner Shad Khan contributing $301 million of the total won the approval of another city council committee today. News for Jack's reporter Vic Michelucci tells us while the deal is moving forward, it's still not done. Progress. While there are still a lot of concerns and hoops to jump through, developers say they think that the shipyards is getting off the ground. And one local leader says we could see a Four Seasons Hotel here within the next couple of years. Now looking for a motion to move the bill as amended. The shipyard's development passed another hurdle this morning, getting through City Council's Neighborhoods Committee. Shad Khan's public-private partnership is sailing much smoother than last year's Lot J proposal, which required more taxpayer money and ultimately sank at council. There's still uh, time left on the clock. The, yeah. game, the game isn't over yet. Jaguars president Mark Lamping representing Con and Iguana Investments at today's meeting, telling us he's optimistic the $400 million project will become a reality. The city could fork over as much as $114 million of that. It's going to really change uh, that part of downtown Jacksonville for generations to come. The focus today was on the Four Seasons Hotel and Residences and a luxury office building. It's the first phase of what could be a booming sports entertainment and dining district. Everything so far is moving on track, and I, I think we're going to get to see a hotel in two years. The Downtown Investment Authority is on board, saying it'll be a big boost for the River City, despite concerns from some in the community that it's too big of a risk with tax dollars. The council took up two proposed amendments from auditors. One passed, the other failed. Do you think that we're going to be seeing a shipyard's development here in the next couple of years? Uh, Shad Khan is 100% committed to Jacksonville, Florida. I think uh, come January of 2022, you'll see the groundbreak. And this is a long process before these developers break any ground here at the shipyards. They have to pass through two more committee meetings this week, and they're going to take this to city council next Tuesday. Downtown. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station.